Now we're on the set for one of the scenes for our short film. In the script it says it's summertime and the sun is shining, and right now the sun is shining, so it's a perfect day for the scene. But how do you set up the camera for this kind of shoot? And how do you set up light? Let's figure it out. Filming in bright sunlight can be a pain. Hard shadows and overexposed shots are quite common. In this video I will give you some tips on how to achieve the film look in bright sunlight in a quick and affordable way. So here we are on location, and we are going to film a scene where two people are talking to each other at the table. The actors are not yet on set, so we have time to set up the camera and the light. Let's start with the first angle. The first step is to get the right exposure. Since I'm filming in 25 frames per second, the shutter speed is set to 1 50th of a second to enhance the film look. The ISO is set as low as possible to avoid noise, and since I can't adjust it any lower, it won't make my image darker. So the only way I can make the image darker within the camera is to make the aperture smaller. When adjusting the aperture to a higher number, the aperture gets smaller. The image then gets darker, however, the depth of field gets longer. Since we want a short depth of field with a blurry background, we need to darken the image in another way. Then we can use this end filter. The main purpose of this filter is to darken the image. There are different end filters out there with different strengths. This one is called ND0.9 and makes your image darker by 3 stops. That means if your shot is perfectly exposed with aperture 11, you can attach this ND filter and get the same exposure with aperture 4. So let's attach an ND filter to our lens. Now we can adjust the aperture wider, all the way down to f1.2, and that makes a really blurry background. I recommend the Lightcraft variable and the filter. It's really practical because you can adjust the strength by turning the filter either way. So now, because of the wide open aperture, we got a short depth of field, and that looks great for close-ups like this. The next step is to set the right picture profile within the camera. On most cameras, you can customize your own picture profiles. I recommend that you choose the profile with the lowest contrast or adjust it yourself. That makes the image more flat and you get more details in the shadows and in the highlights. It's then easier to color grade in post-production. The next step is to make the light softer to avoid too much hard shadow on her face. My tip is to use a 5-in-1 reflector like this one. Then you can adjust the light in 5 different ways. This is to reflect the sun. This is to reflect warm light. This is to soften the light. This is to reflect a lot of light. And this to block the light. For the first camera angle, I want to soften the light by using this part. Find a spot outside the frame and hold the reflector between the sun and the subject. Since I'm the only crew member on set, I'm using a stand with a reflector holder. To save some money, you can ask a friend to hold the reflector instead. But in this case, I think I'll go for the stand. So, after some adjustments, the shot should look much better. The hard shadows are removed and her eyes are more visible with this kind of light. Now let's see how it looks with some color grading. And then the 235 look alike. Ah, perfect! Now it's time to figure out how to light the other actor sitting in the opposite direction. Suddenly I noticed it started to get a bit windy. And when it comes to this setup in windy conditions, it's easy to fail. But don't worry, grab a couple of plastic bags and put them inside each other to make them strong. Then fill them with sand to make them heavy. Place the homemade sandbags on top of the legs and the wind problem is solved. For this angle, the sun is hitting her back. Without the reflector, you will either get an overexposed sky in the background or a dark and boring light on the subject. So for this angle, we will use the white part of the reflector to reflect the sun and bounce the light towards your face.
Now we have figured out a nice setup for both angles. A 5-in-1 reflector costs around $10 and a stand with a reflector arm costs around $60. But what if you don't want to spend money on this equipment? Then you can actually try to find something similar in your garage that can reflect the light. You can just be creative. Polystyrene. Oh. Can maybe use this. It's a door. Uh, maybe a bit heavy, but we can... Yeah, as you can see, it's quite bright. That's a, that's a good start. As long as you know the purpose of the equipment, you will probably find something for free that can give you the same look. Another time saver is to shoot your film when it's cloudy. Then the clouds will soften the light for you. So that was my tip on how to get the film look in bright sunlight. But remember, by being creative, you can save a lot of money. So i see you again soon. Bye bye. If you want to take a look at some other videos we made, I can recommend this one, where we show how to light a subject inside for free. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe to stay tuned with our latest videos. If you have any suggestions on other videos we should make, feel free to comment them below. As always, i see you again soon.